What's going on everybody? It's me, E-Man from E-Man's Movie Reviews. Today we're going to review Solo, A Star Wars Story. If you haven't already, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on that little bell too. All right, let's get into a quick intro. Venturing into the dark criminal underworld, Han Solo meets a new friend in Chewbacca and meets Lando Calrissian, all before the Great Rebellion began. All right, enough of that, let's get right into the good. The good. I think one of the very first things that people are gonna appreciate about this movie are the really cool aesthetics that it does bring to the table. There appear to be a lot of practical effects that are very reminiscent of the original Star Wars movies. It'll almost feel like you're watching a movie from the 80s, except with modern technology capturing the moment. Now, as you could probably tell from the trailers, this is a heist movie. The heists are one of the more exciting moments to watch in this film. Director Ron Howard is pretty effective in making you feel like every mission is is a fun adventure. Many scenes are going to be full of suspense and thrills. Since this is an origin story, it was really cool to see more details about Han Solo's background. His initial meeting and growing relationship with Chewbacca were a definite standout. I think this movie could have been a lot better served with more of this duo's interactions because it really worked well on screen. When it came to the plot, I really liked the fact that there were a lot of twists piled one on top of the other. While you may know the general direction of the movie, those twists will keep you from guessing exactly what happens next. There's a nice surprise in the film that I would say is the best two to three minute scene of the entire film. You'll know it when you see it. Let's move on to the acting. The supporting characters were great all around. Amelia Clark, who plays Kira, was solid given the layers her characters embody. Paul Bettany was surprisingly terrifying in his villainous role. The android L3 was probably one of the funniest characters in the movie and a bright spot that I wish we could have gotten a little bit more of. With little to no surprise here, Donald Glover as Lando was easily the highlight of the movie. He was undoubtedly one of the most intriguing and emotionally relatable characters in the movie. Glover is already on fire as of late, but his portrayal as Lando is probably the most true to form character adaptation there could be in this film, except for maybe Chewie. Well, that's all there is for the acting in this movie. Let I said that's all. You know what? Let's move on to the bad. The bad. You know what? I'm not buying Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo at all. I tried. I really did. It takes almost the entire movie to buy him as the Han Solo from the original movies. There's a level of charisma that Alden simply doesn't have, nor can he replicate for this particular character. I don't think Alden is a bad actor. I just don't think that this role was a good fit for him. Minus the fact that he really does actually look the part. To be honest, I don't even really blame him. I think trying to step into a role like Han Solo is like someone trying to follow up Robert Downey Jr. to be the next Iron Man. I mean, those are just some really big shoes to fill. I think one of the biggest letdowns is the fact that everything in this movie tries to cover up or make up for the lack of a good portrayal of Han Solo. First of all, it's not a good sign for all the supporting actors to outshine the lead actor in any movie, especially a movie that's supposed to be about the lead character. Second, it's also not a good sign when the supporting characters have to inform the audience about the lead character. For example, I don't need the supporting characters in the movie to tell me that Han Solo is arrogant or cocky. That's something that should exude from the actor himself. Plus, the definition of uncool is trying to be cool. Alden came across as trying to be cool and cocky rather than it appearing to be something that naturally comes from him or the character. Now, in addition to the supporting characters carrying Han Solo, I also think that the story had a lot of legwork to do here too. And I don't mean the story in the actual movie. I mean the overall Star Wars story. Now, let me put it this way for you. In other words, if Solo, a Star Wars movie, wasn't associated with the large mythos and franchise that is Star Wars, 
I think the film would be even less interesting. One major driving factor is just the fact that you know the fate of most of the important characters, and you may only be watching to see how this connects to the story that we already know. The movie also does a little bit too much overt foreshadowing of the person that Han Solo is eventually going to become. As a result, I personally don't think that we get a really good transition from this origin story of this young Han Solo to the Solo that we eventually end up knowing from the original movies and in Force Awakens. <sighs> okay, I'm done. I'm good. Let's get on to the reason. The reason. All right, now despite my rant, Solo, A Star Wars Story is not a bad movie at all. It's fine. It's cool. It gets the job done. It's a very safe movie. It checks off all the right boxes. To me, it just doesn't do very much to be impressive, epic, or unique. I mean, there are a lot of things in this movie that we've already seen before. You know, this kind of reminds me of like when a local carnival might come to town and they have their own really cool ride and you go ahead and ride it, you have a good time, you have fun, but once you get off of it, you start thinking to yourself, this was cool, but it's not Six Flags. Unfortunately, it's also my opinion that Solo just doesn't really contribute to the larger Star Wars franchise, not like Rogue One did. Rogue One was able to tell me an origin story that directly fueled emotional impact and meaning into the original Star Wars movies. Because of Rogue One, I now know what the real sacrifices meant to the Rebellion and why those plans were so important. Solo doesn't do anything like that for me. If Solo's goal was to show me how legendary Han Solo is or how cool he's always been, or just his relationship with Chewie, I think it fell short. Solo instead comes off as fan service to basically the dedicated Star Wars fans, the ones that have a lot of background knowledge or nostalgia to hang on to. And let me be clear, that's not a bad thing. It's totally fine to give fans what they want. I just don't see how this movie is going to excite new or casual viewers to the Star Wars films. So I already know there are going to be a good amount of people that are not going to totally agree with what I'm saying, and guess what? I'm totally okay with that. I thought Han Solo's story and character were perfectly summed up in the four movies we already saw him in. I didn't think we really needed to see his origin. A lot of his mystique and coolness relied on the fact that he just was who he was. I think in this case, it's kind of like a magician revealing their tricks. It's it's still very interesting to know and to see it, but it still also takes a little bit of the edge off. So when it comes to the rating of Solo, A Star Wars Story, I've got to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Solo is a fun movie and it's totally worth watching in theaters, especially if you've already been invested in all of the other Star Wars movies. Now I've got a question for you. Are you new to the Star Wars movies or do you know someone who's interested in getting started in the Star Wars films? If so, check out my latest video where I'm going to give you my own unique viewing order for the Star Wars movies. Now my goal is to try and help newcomers to the Star Wars movies and hopefully try to preserve a lot of the intentions and emotional impact from the movies. So go ahead and give that a click. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Before you go, please feel free to check out some of my other videos. I've got more reviews and videos coming up for you all real soon. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.